Uh, welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to train our custom data for object detection with YOLO v7. Uh, we can install this YOLO v7 by cloning this repository and executing these requirements. Then uh, it will be um, installed in, so we can install this in your separate virtual environment. One of the use case in retail is to find the out of stock in their self. We are going to download the images with uh, stocks available in the self and some images will have out of stock images and we are going to label them on each product. And we are going to label them with label me. Uh, we'll open a label me. Then we'll open the image folder. So uh, we are going to label them on each product. Uh, we are going to select the rectangle one and we will so label this as um, one. Since the product is available on the self, I'm just making this one. Likewise, we have to uh, label them for each product. Once you have saved, it will create a JSON file. Um, then uh, in this image, we have a product as well as the out of stock. Um, so we are going to select this out of stock self, then label them as zero. And the rest of the things will be uh, label them as one. So likewise, we have to do for each images. So we'll save this image. It will create a JSON file. Once the labeling is completed, we could see the JSON image for each image, um, JSON file which has all the label details. Uh, next, we'll convert them into YOLO format. We'll be using label me to YOLO, this library. Um, so here we have to give the JSON directory and the validation size like here it is 20% uh, is for validation. So um, this is a Python file. And we'll be mentioning this um, data set folder and the validation size here. So I'm using this uh, Python file directly. Okay, the conversion has completed. We could see this data set folder, which has images and labels. Um, here, um, this is the data set format, which we'll get from this library, but we want to use uh, the YOLO v7 uh, requires this format, like the train folder will have uh, images and labels, validation folder will have images and labels. So we have to, uh, change the folder structure. Then we have to um, change the data set YAML file also. So instead of um, making images and train, we'll be using, so this is the far data set uh, YAML file you are going to use. So this is a train folder and this is the validation folder number of classes two and the names is zero and one. We have modified the folder structure for uh, YOLO v7. Um, here train will have uh, images and labels and the valid image will have the images and labels. 
and we'll use the same uh, path in the dataset yaml file then we'll start our training in the training we are using a pre-trained model and we'll mention the dataset yaml file and since it is a local i'm using workers as one batch size as eight if it is more than that uh, i'm getting an out of memory error then images and configurations this is for yolo the architecture format then the name and the hyper parameters then epoch i'm giving s2 for uh, sample one but we have already run for around 200 epoch we'll start the training We'll get the new folder under uh, runs and train um, and weights will be stored here. The best dot pt, this is the file we are going to use for our uh, inference. Um, training is completed. We'll validate our uh, trained weights. Um, we'll execute dot dot pi and we'll mention the uh, weight path and the Confidence threshold is uh, 25% and image size and this is the image path. Um, okay, it is completed. We could see the new folder under uh, detect folder. Yeah. So here you can see these are all the products available and these are uh, out of stock. Next we will test with the video file. Uh, we'll use the same command but uh, only we are changing the uh, video path. Okay, it is completed. We'll open the result. So we could see the direct the um, product as well as out of stock. If we train with more images and more epochs, uh, we'll get more accurate values. <laughs> 